guys, it is Monday and I am starting this vlog on time again. So let's get right into it. <laughs> Or welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole Wolf and I'm a paranormal romance writer and time travel historical romance writer for the sake of this challenge. And welcome to week eight of the 90 days to your novel challenge. Um, so it is Monday, as I've already mentioned that I actually started this vlog on time again. Go me. Um, and it's been a, a day. I have not gotten any writing done. I did, however, break my stand for my phone in order to take videos. So I'm using a candle to hold up my phone so I can record this. <laughs> so that happened today. Um, I also finished um, filming, editing, and uploading last week's vlog. So check that out. I will leave that in the cards. Um, what else? Oh God, I, I got, I, I mean, I had other stuff to do, but I don't want to say I was super productive today. I did get a lot of editing done on my other WIP. I feel like that is drawing my attention away quite a lot right now. And I need to, I need to stop it. I, uh, I'm gonna be honest. I wasted a lot of time today on social media. Way more than I needed to probably. Um, I checked Facebook more often than I needed to. Um, however, I did, I did get to upload, I recorded and uploaded the assignments video for this week in the Facebook group on time. So that was good. Um, so like the day wasn't a complete fail. It's just, I have gotten absolutely nothing done as far as this challenge is concerned today. I feel like that's been happening a lot on Mondays lately, just because Mondays I have other stuff I'm doing, which is a lot of recording because I'm trying to make sure that I'm ending my previous vlog and then starting my next vlog all on a Monday. And that's in between me editing and uploading the vlog and doing the other video <laughs> that I need to do. <laughs> so, um, just the recording and videos are very time consuming on a Monday. So, I mean, I can't be too mad at myself that I, I don't really find a whole lot of time to write on a Monday. Um, I did get some editing in though. So I do have some time to write on a Monday. I just need to not edit and write instead. So anyway, um, that's kind of what I did today. And it wasn't too exciting. And I'm hoping tomorrow uh, goes better and I get actual writing done. I should because I don't have as much non-writing things to accomplish as far as my uh, uh, writer, author, YouTube stuff goes. <laughs> so, um, so that should help with me get some words on the page tomorrow because I just went over this week's assignments and I'm supposed to be writing act two and I'm not, I'm still writing act one. So, um, as far as the rest of tonight goes, it is like 7.30 going on eight probably. And I didn't get any writing done today and I doubt I will get much writing done today at all. I probably, I, I don't see me writing later, later today. Usually by this time now, because I've been making myself get up early, earlier because my daughter is now in school full time. So I now get myself up earlier because she needs to get up earlier and I am not a morning person to begin with. So now that I'm getting up earlier, I'm usually like my brain is not in go mode <laughs> by this time. Um, 
So that's why lately I've been trying to get any of my productive things that require a lot of brain work done earlier in the day. Um, usually after she goes to school and like while my son is writing breakfast, is eating, writing breakfast, while my son is eating breakfast, um, is when I try and get most of my like writing stuff done. So that is the goal for tomorrow and I will let you guys know how that goes. Good job. We're in Miami. Hey guys, so it is Wednesday now. Um, I think I filmed a little bit yesterday. Um, like I told you guys before, my camera stand or my phone stand, because I use my phone to record uh, as my camera, and uh, my stand for that kind of broke. And it doesn't surprise me. I told you guys in previous vlogs that it has been in rough shape for a very long time. Uh, I'm sure you guys saw when I held it up that it was literally held up by tape, duct tape. And then the duct tape was starting to fail, so then I added another layer of tape. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it was bound to go. <laughs> so anyway, um, I need to get a new stand because uh, right now I'm only able to do this because I'm upstairs in my room and I have to lean my phone up against stuff in order to tape things. So um, that's probably why until I get a new stand, there's going to be less vloggy stuff because I got to figure out like how I can lean my phone up against stuff in order to videotape things. So if, if it seems a little wonky this week, that's why, but I'm going to try and, you know, go forward and do the best that I can with what I have, which is nothing but my phone because I don't have a stand anymore. So, uh, I guess we'll both see how this turns out. And, um, I did get some writing done yesterday. Um, that was the one clip I think I did record, uh, was I got some writing done. Um, it was a good amount. I got two scenes. I think I got two scenes written. However, the second scene was copy and pasted because I had already written that in a previous week. So, really, I, I wrote one scene and then copy and pasted the second scene into, because I'm, like, I'm writing, I have, uh, I'm using Scrivener, which I'll try and post a picture so you guys can see how I have it set up. Um, I am setting it up where each scene has its own, like, card. And then you can click into the card and then you can actually like type inside of it, um, which is why I love Scrivener so much. And then I can move scenes around if I need to. Um, so each scene gets its own card, which is why I copy and pasted because I had folders set up in the beginning before we started drafting where I would just have a folder for the week and then I would just drop the assignments for that week into their own cards in Scrivener. Um, so, uh, so, so I technically have that scene twice in the project. I have it when I originally wrote it and I have it now in the scene where it belongs in my drafting folders. Um, so anyway, I think overall I wrote, I wrote, uh, maybe five to 600 words. I don't know. I have to look at the computer. I should have done that, but I'm up in my room. My computer's downstairs because I needed to record. And the only place I knew I could record was against my candle upstairs right now. So I really need to find something else to lean this phone up against so I could record in other places. So, um, that's kind of what I got done. Um, I am going to be Hopefully getting some more writing done today. Um, I'm just, I'm trying to decide whether I want to continue with my drafting. I should. Or um, I'm trying out 
the Pro Writing Aid Premium. I have a trial version for seven days. Um, because I wanted to try it out for my, like, almost like my last round of edits before I possibly send it to, like, a copy editor. Um, but I wanted to go through it because I knew there were not grammatical errors, but there were some word choices that I could change. I know there's words that I lean on very heavily as I'm drafting that, like, my brain doesn't pick up. Um, and none of my beta readers mentioned it, but I think that's because most beta readers are looking at like the overall story, not specific words and specific lines. That's kind of the purpose of a copy editor, but I want to try and get it in the, and as best the sh a shape as I can get on my own before I send it to a copy editor, because I cannot be spending a thousand dollars on a copy editor. Like I can't. So I got to try and get my manuscript to a point where the copy editor won't charge me quite as much because hopefully I have it in a pretty clean position before they get it is my goal. So I'm trying out pro writing aid. Um, I did a little research on Grammarly and pro writing aid and, um, I basically went with pro writing aid because they have, they seem to have more like report styles. Like you could get a report for, for style, for grammar, for spelling, for readability, for all that stuff. So that's kind of why I went with Pro Writing Aid instead of Grammarly for now. So uh, I'm debating if I want to try to get that, at least my first book, done and through Pro Writing Aid's style reports and kind of go through and edit that while I have this seven day trial. So that's something I need to think about. So, um, I'm going to be doing that. And then I have chores to do because I always have chores to do. When do I not have chores to do? Right. Um, so I'll be working on all that today and hopefully I will be able to find some places to record without my phone falling over. I'm hoping I'm able to do that. And that is all from me for now. Um, I will check back in with you guys later. Hey guys. Um, it is freaking day. Is it Friday? It's Friday at like eight o'clock at night. And which is probably why the lighting is like really bad. Um, cause I got zero natural light in here. Um, Anyway, so it's been a while and I felt like I needed to pop on and at least update you guys on what I've been up to because I know I haven't been recording any vlog clips because I still have not gotten a stand. I have to figure out which one I want because I figured if I'm going to have to buy a new stand, I should just upgrade, right? Like, that's what I should do. Like, if I got to spend the money for a new stand, I might as well get a better one. <laughs> at least that's my thought process. So, anyway... I'm being indecisive about that. And anyway, um, so I did get some more stuff done, but not a whole lot of 90 days to your novel challenge stuff done. I have been distracted by other things. Like I completely rehauled my entire website. Yes, my entire website. I have rehauled completely. If you guys want to check out the rehaul, you can check out the link down below. My website link is there. If anybody wants to check out what I've been doing the last few days, <laughs> um, it, it is a big improvement. So I, I mean, it's stuff that had to get done. It's just stuff that I didn't know if I had to get done now, but it got done now. So, um, and I've also been working on editing my book some more, which, which I have made a decision on. I have made a decision that the first book, which I mean, it could technically qualify as a prequel because this series that I'm writing my, um, dystopian vampire shifter romance series, um, is, uh, not, it's not the same character. It's not the same couple in all of the books. So every book in the series gets its own couple. So 
while the stories interrelate, they don't necessarily have to be read in order, in order to make sense, if you know what I mean. Um, you know, if you've ever read, like, Sherry Lane Kenyon or Cressley Cole, Larissa Ione, Gina Showalter, there's literally countless of these types of romance books out there. Um, it's basically a series that can be read as a standalone, um, because each book features a different couple. Um, anyway, so I was thinking of using my first book as my prequel reader magnet, reader magnet. And the reason I'm choosing to do that is because the first book's couple is Nessie and Charlie, and their story is one is the only story that isn't that doesn't take place with the pack that they that they meet at the end of the book. So I almost feel like it would work really well as a prequel because it would le it leads right into the more overall arching plot of the book. If you know what I mean. It's just Nessie plays a pretty like central role in it so but she is mentioned in the other book so it's not like she's like not there because she is um it's just like she it's not there it's not her book her book is the prequel or book one or whatever you want to call it so anyway so that's kind of what I've been like mulling over in my mind lately was how I wanted to approach this book that I'm currently editing because I know I need a reader magnet like I need one in order to jumpstart my newsletter and like this whole thing that I'm starting over again like I'm starting a whole new email list and I revamped my whole website and I'm redoing all of the covers and I'm giving them all new titles and because I'm giving them new titles I have no choice but to republish them as completely new books on Amazon. So, anyway, um, that's what I've been doing <laughs> the last two days. So, word count, as far as what I'm considering word count, has not moved much. But I have made a lot of progress in other things that needed to get done. So, I don't know. I'm I'm not sure I'm not sure how I want to approach this right now because like I I need to write, I want to write this book like Nana Ramo is right around the corner which I still need to do a video on that and I know I want to write this book for Nano Ramo like I want to do it so then I'm wondering so if that's what I want to do I really should finish the edits on this book that I plan on using as my reader magnet and I want it to be ready to go by summer. Because I want to have that up and ready for summer. Because I'm going to use that as my reader magnet. And then I want to have my pre-order for my, for my first book in the actual series that I'm, I don't, I don't even know how I want to do the logistics of this right now. Like, that's where I'm at right now. It's, I want to use it as, as a prequel, a reader magnet. But I heard that reader magnets that are exclusive to a newsletter do much better. But I still feel like everybody should be able to read the first, should be able to read Nessie and Charlie's story because she is an important character in the overall plot line. So I'm not sure if I want to use it exclusively as my newsletter, where the only way you could read it is by getting my newsletter, or if I want to make it where. You can get it for free by signing up to my newsletter, or you could purchase it at normal price at the retailers because I plan on going wide. So, like, it'll probably be like two ninety nine or three ninety nine or something like that. A free book, obviously. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'd really like some feedback on this, just because I don't know. I've I've never had an exclusive. I've never had a full reader magnet before. Like. I used to have my books in Kindle Unlimited, 
So because they were in Kindle Unlimited, I was not allowed to offer the full book as a reader magnet. I could only offer 10% of the book, which apparently does not work at all as a reader magnet. Which is why I've decided that I need to go wide because I just hate the idea of having one book wide and the rest of them not wide. It just doesn't make any sense to me. So anyway, let me know what you think in the comments if you think I should have it exclusive for just newsletter subscribers or if you think I should offer it at regular price, like still have it up for sale. But if you want to get it for free, you have to sign up for my newsletter. Like, does that make sense? I mean, I've heard of people doing that, but usually they do it for like 99 cents or whatever, where I wasn't going to do that. I was just going to be like, hey, if you want, if you like are dead set on not signing up for my newsletter, you know, which not everybody is ecstatic about signing up for newsletters. Like, I understand not everybody is. So it was almost like to give those other people who just hate signing up for newsletters an option to still read the book. But they're going to have to pay for it. Like, normal price pay for it. Not, like, deep discount pay for it. Like, if you really don't want to sign up for my newsletter, then I guess you're going to pay full price for the book. So those are my two options. What do you think I should do? Exclusive on my newsletter or full price option? Comment down below because I want to know. Okay. I'm going to get back to doing stuff that I shouldn't not be doing probably because I'm supposed to be doing 90 days to your novel challenge and instead I'm editing this book but I'm gonna go continue to edit this book because my goal is to get this book done by the end of the month so that I could focus completely on my 90 days to your novel challenge for April so I'm gonna go I'm gonna check back in with you guys later <laughs>
June, July. July at the latest. I do not want to go past July. So that's like my deadline that's in my head that I need everything done. So uh, I got that checked off my list. Obviously house chores because like I always have more than just writing to do. And uh, so I did all that. So I mean, I got stuff done this week. I got stuff done. Um, so I mean, I'm happy with what I accomplished. I am hoping today's Monday. So it is, I think the 29th of March, 29th, I think. So my goal is to spend the next three days finishing my editing of my reader magnet. That is the goal. So I don't see, I'm probably not going to get any writing in my challenge done. However, that is because Camp NaNoWriMo starts on Thursday. Yes, it starts on Thursday. So I plan on writing the rest of my 90 Days to Your Novel Challenge book project in April during Camp NaNoWriMo. I will continue doing vlogs. Um, obviously, I've been doing them for eight weeks now, so um, I might as well finish out the last four. Um, I'm just going to continue to call them the 90 Days to Your Novel Challenge, not Camp Nano vlogs. So, um, hold on. Okay, I have no idea what I was talking about, but, um, anyway, that's, that's all I got for this week's vlog, and, um, make sure that if you like these vlog videos that you hit that like button, that, um, helps YouTube, that helps my channel first, full disclosure, that also helps YouTube know that you like these writing vlog type videos, so then they'll recommend more like it to you, so it kind of helps both of us. Um, also make sure to hit that subscribe and the little bell so that you know when I'm posting all of these new vlog videos. Um, I am hoping in April that I get a chance to post, shh, I'm hoping that I get a chance to post some midweek sit down videos um for camp nano that is my goal if you guys have any recommendations for topics you would like me to cover um as far as writing goes or you know whatever you just throw whatever idea you guys have out there book related writing related mom related whatever you guys want to see and i will do um um okay guys so that is all from me uh, make sure to check out all of the links down below. I got links to all the books that I'm using. I got links to all of the live stream playlists that I use. I got links to all of my social media, my website. It's all down there. Just, just check it out. And then I will see everybody in my next video. Say bye. Okay, he doesn't want to say bye. Okay, bye. <laughs>